trying to make the decision uh, of what to keep in house to execute your study and what to outsource is tough, right? I mean, you've got this clinical study that you've been working all of this, sometimes years in the making, um, to get ready and to do it. And you know, everyone is saying, when's it gonna be done? Uh, when are we gonna get the results? There's a lot of pressure on you to get it done. Um, so the thought of you know putting that in someone in someone else's hands can be a little daunting. And I think that along with budget constraints, sometimes um, people will, will keep stuff in house that maybe they're not comfortable with. I mean, we're talking about small companies, right? So there may not be that experience or that history with the clinical research that they would need in order for them to do a successful clinical study. So at the end, you have your data, right? And that is why you're doing this study, so you can get your data. So um, when you're outsourcing, it's so important to one, be comfortable with what you're outsourcing, and two, the partner that you find to outsource that work to is looking at that data as, as being as important to them as it is to you. And so that trust factor is there where you're both looking at this as this kind of baby in your basket. Different companies uh, have a different internal makeup and different size uh, at the time that they approach their, their clinical trials. So depending on the talents and the innate abilities uh, and the budgets as well, uh, a big decision that many companies have is whether to outsource capabilities uh, or to insource and hire. Uh, and the answer will be a question for each company to consider individually. So uh, if your company has planned to do multiple serial trials, maybe multiple feasibilities, multiple pivotals, maybe you're gonna expand into multiple markets, it may be very efficient uh, to hire and internalize, and that may be the most efficient way. If you are gonna have a period of one to two years of intense clinical study work, uh, it may be most efficient uh, to uh, outsource that, and there are individual consultants or CROs that have this capability. Uh, so it would, it would depend on the needs, the internal talents, budgets, and the uh, trajectory uh, of, of how these employees might be used over time that would determine the answer. Mm -hmm.